Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Before I proceed this video, please click like and subscribe my channel Alright, so this video will be will be my part 6 video Continuation from my previous video Where in the previous video, I will show you Where I've done these two features to support the two batteries so in this video, I will do more detailing on this bottom casing. If you look at this photo, so we have I already done the solid wall here at the middle, so, but we have a kind like a cutting slot. Here. Also at the back, we have a cutting slot. So we will mount this thing. These two metal parts here is a battery connectors. It's a standard part, positive negative connectors. So okay, in order for me to do this, um, uh, if you look. At the back wall here, if you look of my bottom casing here, my back wall is quite thin. Um, I need to add more thickness onto this back wall. So what I will do, okay, in this assembly, this is assembly mode. So I open this uh, bottom casing into separate part modeling file. So what I will do, at the back wall here, I create a surface at that plane. I will do a center line. Make sure I start here and make sure I step, snap at that middle point. So I will do a line here. The idea of me to do this line, make sure I snap this one to do the rib. So the rib will add extra thickness to this back wall. And let me put some dimension. Yeah, the dimension is from here to hold on. The hold on. My dimension is 0.5. Alright, 0.5. And the idea of this line that I just created is to create rib. So what I will do here under features here, I have a rib here. Uh, make sure rib here by default is pointing to the this side. I will do the second option here. Make sure it's pointing upward or downward and i must make sure that it's pointing downward it's pointing downward if it's pointing upward like this we have to uncheck make sure that the pointing the arrow is downward then the thickness i want to do is one it means i will add extra thickness um, to this at the back yeah. so it will add <coughs> extra thickness to this back wall all right so what I will do, I will create uh, another sketch at the back here. I will create a center line from this point. Make sure that it snap really at that end point. So we have a fully defined center line. And, and I will create, hold on, I will create another center line from this middle point to that middle point then I will create corner rectangle snap at this middle point like this and I will <coughs> I will give dimension is 5 and from here to here will be 2 Okay, that's how I do for my these features for the slot. So this I will do then the extruded cut up to surface. So I have the cutting slot there. Eh? Then I do mirror front plane and the features is this cutting slot. So I have this <coughs> okay, these two things. Right, so I will do another sketch at this plane to add the uh, another cutting slot. Okay, before here, uh, the one that I've just created the uh, extruded cut, I on that sketch, so I have this guideline for me to for me to do the center rectangle. Make sure that is in the middle. 
I simply drag like this and I select here and hold down my control key here make it collinear so I'm in that position I don't have to do at the bottom here since I'm doing center rectangle and the width the dimension of this is 1.5 Right, so this will be my another sketch for me to do extruded cut to surface. Right, so I have this thing. So <clears throat> what I will do, so this feature is where we will mount the the metal parts, the batteries, connectors will be slot into this this slot right so they had a back so at the front here I will do a sketch okay I will create a corner to corner to rectangle to let it snap to these two lines right so what I will do since I have the already the cutting slot here at the back here so I can use as my guide Right, so here the line here. Uh, I select this line and hold on my control key. Select this edge, and it must be collinear. So it means in line. And also this line must collinear to this edge. So it means that they are in line. Right, so this one I will do a smoothed cut. To surface mirror front plane features is this exploded card so I have this okay we have an, uh, another features here a uh, tiny slot cutting here right to do that uh, I do another sketch plane at this space So uh, as long as I have this make a center line from here up until there. All right, from here I can do a center rectangle. must snap at the center line I don't okay just simply like this all right about the width is 0.5 all right and this width is 0.5 so now the thing is about this edge I select that edge and must come in here with this page so it means that in line all right for this I cannot make it in line with <coughs> with this uh, what I can put here the dimension here from this to here this one you need all right so I have this um, this kind of what I I do for my detailing so but it depends on how's your uh, slot for your battery connectors uh, you can use my the way I do it as reference. So here I will do a extruded card up to surface. Then I do mirror front plane, and the features to mirror is this cutting slot. So I have this kind of like yes a slot for me to 
later in the assembly we can mount the standard features uh, which is this metal part the batteries connected so this is how I do in detailing for uh, this bottom casing all right uh, the next thing if you look in this photo at the front end of this bottom casing we have these two shaft shaft here so I have not made any sketch on A4 papers on this so I simply kind like do it on my own to position these two shaft at this uh, front end of this bottom casing so I go back to this here uh, to tell you again the shaft height is same level as the at the top plane of the uh, the plane here same level as the height of the little bit higher than the height of the lips of this bottom casing so I show you so in uh, this solid file here so this is a level of our lips of the casing so what i will do i add plane about one millimeter extra height uh, one millimeter above here so this will be the level sketch plane sketch plane is you can you can resize your sketch plane all right so this guy i will do a sketch on this new sketch plane one millimeter above this here Okay, let me go back to uh, norm, uh, normal view uh, I just simply all right uh, I will create a better to create a center line because if we have center line it's kind of like we have reference to position uh, the hole so I believe the diameter is uh, hold on at this but the diameter is about let me measure it uh, the diameter is three millimeter so i will put the uh, i will create a circle here i will create a circle just click in here and the diameter is three diameter is three and give the right so i can give dimension from here to here just give some dimension as long as i go for is I go for 16 so it's about that position hold on okay so this is 16 and from here to the center line is let me make a round up of 6 so it's about that position for the me to create the cylinder so I have this circle so features I will do um uh, i will do okay before that i make a because since we have uh, another inner circle i believe that it will be one millimeter uh, so i will create another circle here before i do uh as extruded to surface so this will be um diameter one One. okay I have these two things so then I will do features uh, S root okay S root in this case is not direction upward so it should be downward and I'm using up to surface so you will stop at the surface so we have this um, this cylinder as I shown here All right and uh, do mirror features is this thing right so I have this let, let me hide this so let me go for zoom extent so let me save my file so I believe this is okay this is a detailing for the bottom casing uh, I something I need to tell you okay if you look here we have a feature actually we have feature this is a uh, uh, what we call this is a tactile switch 
it's a mini switch on off we press on and we press off so i found out for this design i i will make a do a modification i will not put my switch here so my mr sure i have this decided later in the next video i will show you i the switch will not be located and because i found out that the kind like the push button if you look at if you look at this photo okay this is the let me show you another picture where we have the okay this is the push button push button is mounted here uh, this is the push button uh, push button actually is mounted yeah it's already at the front top casing uh, if you look the push button is kind like I, I think the design is kind like uh, too complicated in my opinion uh, let me show you the previous video so we have this push button will be uh, located and they have an arm if you look on the push button they have an arm here so this push button will be mount on this top casing here and we press and they have an arm and arm then will press that button at the bottom at that location i think kind of design is uh, too complicated so what i will do later in this video i just mount the Textile switch on off will be here and the push button is just simply uh, on top since we have a front top casing like as shown here if you look in this photo um, if you look hold on uh, this photo so the button is simply laying at the top and we press the push and the switch is simply a little bit lower and on top at that uh, electric motor so i will make this design much simpler so inshallah i will do it in the next video okay i think uh i think this all for the detailing of the bottom casing okay inshallah um i will do uh, the continuation for the top casing with the button as i mentioned and also i will do video on the uh, 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 the front top casing with the button and also the rear top casing the detailing of the okay thank you for watching video uh, so inshallah i will do the next video so before that please do not forget to click like and subscribe my channel assalamualaikum warahmatullahi